Kwaku. You're welcome. Hello. We can hear you. Just go ahead with your your comment. Obviously, we, we, we are not communicating with some of our viewers. Uh, third appeal now. Please use the SMS if the voice calls are just dropping. Now, um, can I? Is there anything you can do, or that you can add to your menu for this uh, next edition, um, to accommodate like the things being, the opinions being expressed by you know such violent insurgents as the Boko Haram? So you think we can ever get to hear them at the table? Hello. 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 Good morning, sir. Hello. This is Atlantic morning. You are welcome, sir. Hello, I'm talking. Please go ahead with your question or your comment. We can hear you in the studio. Please go ahead. Okay, I want to ask, please. Please, I want to, to make a question. Now. What can I do? So, my first class will ask you to do for me. You want to make a request? What's the request? What's your request, sir? I said, so I want to draw the way and keep the children from me. I'm the one taking care of the children. I have no problem. <laughs> okay, I think it says it's, it wants to make a request. Uh, the wife has dropped. What the, can I do? Just walked out and he left his children. So, what can he do? Um, He's asking me. Yes. <laughs> Um, first of all, I, I would like to say that I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, it's, it's, it's never fun when marriage um, breaks up and it's traumatic for both parties. Um, I think the, what I would do, the sensible thing to do is, is what a, a lot of women have been doing for centuries, which is... Um, taking up the full responsibility and looking after your children. You just, uh, it, it's, 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 I guess it's tough because sometimes when you have a marriage, you have shared roles at least. Um, and the fact that a lot of women in our tradition and in our cultures are, you know, they, they take care of the domestics and the men um, go out to go and work. Um, that's what a lot of people do, it, it works for them. Um, so in his situation, I think it would be um, pretty tough, tough and, and somewhat complex. Perhaps um, ask if there are family members, your family members, who can support you um, so that you can at least also go out and, and get some money. If you can set up shop or start a small business at home, it's also a good idea because it gives you the opportunity to also be there for your children, take them Why to school, bring them back do their homework with them and love them be a mother and a father to them this is what women have been doing for a very for long ages. time yeah. no, 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 but now before you, you you close with that because that's like uh, uh, a past mark for women while, while it's um, uh, no 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 it's a knock on the men but, oh, really? but seriously is it an african thing for a woman to walk away from the house is it an african thing i think uh you know the truth is, we don't understand. We have no understanding of the gentleman's circumstances. Yes. We don't know what Transpired. led to it. And I would like to believe that this lovely gentleman, for instance, wasn't being violent hmm. with his hmm. spouse, hmm. in which case I totally am in support of her leaving him. Um, unfortunately, of course, you have the kids there um, who may not uh, be in no, the best which, yes. position mm. that they can be in. I don't know their situation. Um, but it's, it's, it's a, we live in a man's world. And, and more often than not, it will be men who will leave, men who, fee who have the liberty, they're at liberty to leave their women and go to other women and marry other women. Unfortunately, women don't have that luxury. So, um, but, but we have to get to a point where women not necessarily to go and you know Walk be with from, someone else yes. but, but women say, must space. be able to say if they've had enough of something they have to be able to leave that situation i mean right. 
I'm not advocating for. Do you, do you understand what I, I mean? I do. We I have do. to. I you do. can't go to your house and say, "My husband is beating me up. My husband is cheating me. My husband is doing this," and then your are parents you are saying, "No, go back. Go or you married him." You know. Okay. Well, in the issue of Boko Haram, I think federal government should declare state of emergency in all affected states. That's opinion being expressed by one uh, 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 a caller. How can someone meet you? Cause you're good, and I want to have your book. I don't have address. I don't have any. Uh, one of our viewers sent in that uh, request. How can someone meet you? Because I, you are good, and I, I want to have your book. So first thing, let us have your contact point for that uh, uh, viewer, and then another viewer says Boko Haram declares state of emergency. So I uh, about getting uh, my uh, book. my book. My book is published in Nigeria by Cassava Republic Press. If you just Google Cassava Republic Press. You'll see their contact details, and um, you'll you'll you can read uh, on the website where you can um, get the get secret books. lives of Baba Segi's wives or my other my collection of poems for the love of flight. Um, so I mean, it's out there. Also stocked in a lot of the bookstores exactly around Lagos and Abuja and Ibadan. So it's it's a pretty. Out it's available. Um, with regard to Boko Haram, absolutely something drastic needs to be done. However, the other question is, um, are we equipped to do this? To nip Go, or, this or, in the bud? But. Can we do it? Do we have the capacity? And that's something that's, that worries me every day. I start asking myself... Hope if, this will not spread beyond this point. Exactly. If we could cope, if we could contain it, if we had the power, the intelligence, you know, to contain this, would we not have done that already? It's getting worse. Okay. She, is, she used to be an optimist. Now she's almost leaving the studio as a pessimist. But that has been our chat with Lola Shonei. Thank you very much for coming on Close Flow. Thank you for having me. It's been me. a pleasure. Thank you. Um, Baba Shege, I have to come back to that story later. Yes, and if you want more information, of course, about the festival, it's www.akefestival.org. Say that again slowly. www.akefestival.org. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, viewers, for staying with us on Close Flow today. Um, the conversation continues on YouTube.com. Go in there and uh, come and add your question or your comment to what you said so far. Or go to uh, www.nta2.com. Uh, to Lagos.com, and then also you can watch this interview. So the show continues again within a week. Be with us as we come towards the end of the week, and let's have some fun together on Close Flow. But uh, thank you very much. It's thank you very much. Thanks. You.